Hello everybody. Today's lesson comes to us through a forum topic at the world of webcraft in which the webmaster needs a simple way to store and retrieve random phrases to display on their web page without MySQL. They're using a simple text file to serve as a flat file database. We will make it to where even a stone cold beginner with zero PHP experience can grasp the script fully and implement it into web pages if needed. Okay, just so we are all up to speed about the scope of what our script needs to accomplish, let's pretend this forum topic here is an application scripting request from a client we have that pays us for scripting their applications. So we're going to get the description of what the client needs here and turn that description into script. We'll take the logic of what they described and turn it into script. I mean, Brad's not our client and Brad's not a stone cold beginner in PHP, but we'll just pretend that that's what this is. He says, hi, I want to get like a random message to display without a database, but a text file. And the reason why I want it in a text file is because it will have like a hundred different things in it. So how would I get PHP to display one thing in that text file at random? I already have the text file in a variable, but really don't know how to make it random, as I want the text file to be like this. So that's what the inside of his text file is going to look like. So let's make a text file that looks like that. And here you go. Now there's nothing, no scripting involved in this. This is called flat file DB, short for database. So flat file database dot txt. It's, a, it's just a simple dot text file and you put whatever separated lines that you want in there. So if this phrase was up here, that means these phrases would come out together because they're not line separated. So just make sure you line separate each one like that. Now the only important thing to note in here that you really can't see is that each one of these new lines has an invisible character or set of characters here that represent a new line which is backslash n. That's how new line is separated. When PHP reads all of this data it's going to see that these lines are separated by this invisible character here that lives within the text file. Okay, so knowing that we can use, since we know each one of these lines has a backslash n on the end of it, we can use PHP to explode all of this data by that new line break. So we'll use the explode function in PHP using the backslash n as our delimiter. That way each one of these lines will be in an array and they'll be separated from the others and we can easily access those array items. Okay, so we have our flat file db.txt all ready to go and you throw that up on your server. Now here's my webpage.php. And you have to make sure your web page, instead of having a .html extension, it has a .php extension. Or else PHP is not going to run inside of this uh, web page. Now it's just four little simple lines and I'll show you how they run. Let's open new PHP tag. Let's go down a couple of lines and then close off our PHP block. Now the first variable we want is named text and that's going to hold the whole contents of the uh, text file so we'll type in file get contents which is a PHP built-in function open close parentheses put in your semicolon and then in between the parentheses you can use single quotes or double quotes I'll just use single quotes to encapsulate the name of your flat file database and mine was flat file db dot txt so now all the data from within this text file is going to be packed inside of a variable called text. Now this next variable is going to represent an array in PHP, so we're going to name it text array. And that's going to be equal to the explosion of all of those line separations in that text file. So we're going to use the explode function, and the explode function looks for two parameters. The first parameter that you have to give this explode function is your delimiter. And remember I said we're going to use the backslash n as delimiter that way we can separate each line within that flat text file and each line will be an array element. And the next parameter that the explode function needs is simply your text variable from the line above. So now this text array variable holds an array that is made up of splitting all the line separations within the text file. Now we want to get an index number from that array that's randomized. So if that array has 10 items in it, which ours does, see there's 10 lines, so our array is going to have 10 items in it. What we want to do is pluck one random item out of that array. So in order to do that we can get the index number for that random item and we'll hold that in a variable called rand array index num. So that's short for random array index number which that's not very short. You might want to name yours 
you know, just a couple of letters or whatever. I'm naming it a nice long variable name. That way you guys can really understand what it's representing. Now we're going to use the array rand function, which is one of the array functions built into PHP that allows you to pluck a random element or a random index number out of that array. So all you have to do within those parentheses is feed it this one parameter, which is the text array that was assembled in the line above. Now this next line, we're going to name this variable rand phrase, because this one is going to hold the actual data that is the random phrase that is being selected by using this array rand. And remember, array rand only selects, it's going to hold a numeric value. This array rand returns to you a numeric value, which is a random index number from that array. So what you have to do is access the data of the text array. So you put that here. And then we're going to access the array index, which this holds a number. So we know this is a number. So what we can do is put that right here. So we're accessing the data within that in array index. If you tried to output this to the page, you're just going to get a number output. But what you want to do is take that number and use it in the array indexes to actually pull out the array data. So you'll actually get the text that is that random phrase. And that's going to be stored into a variable called rand phrase. And that's what you echo to the page. So that's your whole script and that's it. You can just put that right here. And if you happen to be in something like Dreamweaver, you can go up to PHP and just hit echo. And that will echo the random phrase there. Or you can just type in your PHP block and your echo statement and then echo the random phrase. And you can even break that statement right there, which is the normal procedure. Okay, now let's test it. Make sure it works. I'm going to load this to a PHP enabled server. Or if you're testing on your local machine, you have PHP enabled, this will run. Okay, so I come to the web page and I get a certain random phrase from that file to display. Now let's press refresh. You see a different random phrase now. The more you have in your file, the more it will randomize. So if you look at your file, you can see you have only 10 lines. If you have like 100 lines, or possibly 1,000, you'll get a much better randomization. If you only have three things, or five things are in there, or 10, it's possible that people will see things the same things over and over again. But you can also write your script to accommodate for that. Alright, so that's how it's done. That's how you can use flat file databases. And you could even, if you don't want to use the backslash n as a delimiter, you can use something creative that's your own, like you can use dot colon bar exclamation bar colon dot and anywhere in the text that this sequence of characters is found, that's where you delimit. So you can actually save some white space within your flat file database by going like this. Delimit everything by this sequence of characters rather than your backslash n. So within webpage.php, instead of backslash n, you would explode by that sequence of uh, characters. Let's just put all that back. But since we know that there is invisibly living here a backslash n on each line it might be a better way to set up for something like a client content management system if you wanted to let your client change whatever random phrases come out in their web page or whatever data is on their web page you can use uh, text files that the, that the client can just change whatever text is in it and put it back on server there won't be any admin or mysql whatever going they would just ftp a text file okay so i hope you enjoyed that one and that one we covered some flat file database working and array data work and some random array item plucking